Hey guys, what's up? This is Gom, and welcome to Kona on the PC. Kona is a kind of horror detective game. I don't know too much about the story because I've been trying to avoid spoilers on it, but it is an indie game, and I remember seeing it a couple years ago at PAX East, and I was like, ooh, that looks really, really neat. And so now it's actually out. It's from it's out of early access. It's for full release. So I'm hoping that it is the whole story. I, sometimes in developers are weird and they like release. Oh, here's chapter one or something. But I'm hoping it's the full thing so we can enjoy the entire story, even if I have no idea what I'm really getting into. But let's go ahead and get this started. OK, oh, I guess we have a ton of save slots if we want. But I think we'll be good with one. Whoa, whoa, oh god, I can turn my head like so far back! Holy crap! Northern Quebec. Carl Fulbert sought information for a living. That is to say that ever since he returned from Korea, after having served with the armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. William Hamilton, a rich industrialist, had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either, just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. But that's how it had always been. The client pays, Carl gets it done. Oh, I actually have a little bit of control over this. Okay. Also, dude, you just threw your... Carl's military training had made him a your very cigarette out there. man. Being late to his meeting with Hamilton was out of the question. Fine. I won't get out of the car to extinguish they the had cigarette. Set up to meet at the general store, his client's business. Well, actually, the entire village had William Hamilton's name written all over it. So he pretty much owns the town. Sweet. Except for the fact that means bad things are going to happen. When the roads were bad, muddy, or snowed in, it was customary around these parts to close them off. Oh, but it was what? also customary to ignore those signs entirely and drive there anyway. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> get the gate out of our way because we're not about this walking life. Okay. Hello? I mean, if no one's here to stop us, and uh, I'm a detective, I can make my own way through here. Okay, I read flyer. Manistan! It will be good! Is there more to it? Oh, would you look at that? We actually can read the brochure. Sweet, I love brochures. Northern Quebec and its inexhaustible resources. The province of Quebec sits on an exhaustible abundance of natural resources. Why not take advantage of this? Our valuable minerals could travel the world and reach places as far as Dallas, USA. Oh, sweet, you can reach me all the way down here. Get involved in events now. Quebec's economic might will be awakened. At the heart of the wilderness, the north is swarming with wolves, caribous, bears, partridges, foxes, snowy owls, and other hordes of majestic creatures that are every bit of the equals of Africa's wildlife. Oh, I don't really like the idea of running into wolves or bears. Okay, we are the Africa of America. Come discover the north and experience a genuine white jungle. That's one way to describe it, I suppose. The Africa of America. The Kane Master and its people wish to see you very soon. Right, okay, well, we'll leave you with that. Let's see what we have on this map here. I have no idea where we are in correlation with this. Can I access the phone? Okay. Well, we kind of have this tall structure over here that I want to check out. Even though the quick solution would be just to... Oh, gosh, there's a bottle. To open the gate. It'll be interesting to see where this goes. Yeah, that's creepy. Narrator guy, you don't have anything fancy to say about these? Yeah. This is an adventure game. So any little resource could be super beneficial. I don't know. Why are there no guards here, though? Oh! Bolt cutters! And fire starters. Nice. I guess I have to use the bolt cutters on the... On the gate. Oh, we actually have a map for ourselves. Does it show us on here? Oh, look, look at that. I love when we have maps like this. I really enjoy in game maps. I mean, it's weird to have a physical map actually show you your location. 
but I'm willing to accept it because it's a cool, neat mechanic. All right, let's get through this gate. Hamilton never mentioned a road blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. Yeah, there's absolutely no one here, and I am a detective. That doesn't really... Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. It doesn't really give me permission to do this. It's time for him to get down to business. But it gives me a solid reason. Why are you trying to break through here? To solve a mystery. To solve a crime. And that's a pretty noble case. William Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests. Not too far from here. The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. And those ones hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses. But the last straw was the reopening of a mine which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. What? Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target would become the man himself. Yeah, that is bad. We definitely gotta make sure nothing happens now to Hamilton. Wasn't a good time to oh. wonder about Hamilton was still out there. There's this pile of trash that could have, I don't know, interesting things in it. Besides actual trash, but there could be like dead bodies or something inside of there. We have to make sure, I mean, Carl doesn't have any reason to suspect that there are dead bodies. Yet. But things are getting funky. That doesn't sound good. Oh, jeez! Yeah, well, maybe that's the people who made this road's fault. What the hell? That's why, like, distinct lanes are good. A few hours later. Wow, we got really knocked the hell out. Oh, jeez. Carl needed to get out of there. The cold and the pain required urgent care. What about the other guy? Oh, we gotta learn how to survive before we even start to do our detective work. Alright, Coda. I love being thrown into the deep end. Not. Carl's in bad shape. He needs to heal his wounds and warm up his body before going any further. Well, hold on, let's see what's going on here. The driver had taken off. Ugh. Oh. It was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Carl needed help. Well, what is this? It was a small, locked box engraved with the letters WH. Carl thought about taking it. Nothing was to be left to chance. Yeah, it could be something super useful. Oh, Isabel photo. Who is this? Is there something on the back? Such heart-wrenching Nordic poetry that was. But Carl didn't care much about flowery language. Ha! Isabel, you gave meaning to everything. When you disappeared, so did purity. I would defend purity against the winds, the tides, against ice and blizzard. Well, let's see how strong your claim is out here in the actual blizzard. Oh, jeez. Carl, ever diligent in his work, always carried his log on him, in which he scribbled down thoughts and leads alike during the course of his investigations. Ah! That'll be super helpful for us. Can I turn off my car? This seems like a bad thing to leave running in the middle of a blizzard. Oh well. Let's go down the obvious path. South Antam... Antami Peck? Huh. Scratches did not stop Carl. His mother would be so proud. Heat sources prevent Carl from freezing death and save the game. Oh no. I have to... I have to have a fire to save, so I'm not gonna have auto saves. That's gonna be rough for me. What do we have? It was so cold. Already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. A ton of items that will hopefully be useful in keeping us warm. 
I was hoping we'd have like a fireplace in here, but it looks like we have to start the fire outside. That sounds like a good way to get myself into trouble. But if we have the resources, when under stress, Carl is less accurate and runs shorter distance. Ugh. I don't have wood. I need fire, firewood. There's gotta be some around this building, right? Aha! The cold was burning Carl. He would not hold up much longer. He had to warm himself. I'll be fine, narrator guy. Whew. Oh, our cold meter went down pretty goddamn hard. I need a better jacket, is what I need. And gloves. Look at my hands. They're just bare out here. That has to suck. But okay. We have a fire. We can come back to it at any time. Now we can begin to actually look around the area. What's going on in this tower? Lots of wind. We get to feel the full brunt of it. Well, this is this is a lovely, lovely place. I guess we need to head down the road now. Odd auto saves. Good. Well, I'm gonna allow my my brain to recuperate while we read up on this. An accident. I haven't been this shaken up since Korea. Who was the driver in the other car? Whoever it was, they don't have a snowball's chance in hell if they intend to continue on foot. Besides, why did they leave so suddenly? A nice little a nice little bit of poetry on the back of a beautiful face. That reckless driver was also melancholic. A locked box. Would it be wrong if I looked inside? Surely it would find some clue as to who that reckless driver was. I'd still need to find the key, though. Oh. We have biographies on people. Carl Faubert. <laughs> we have a thing on me. I'm a private detective. It pays the bills along with my veteran's pension for my time in Korea. Usually I'm hired to track unfaithful husbands, but divorces are expensive, so infidelity, infidelities are scarce these days. <laughs> William Hamilton hired me. He had a chance, or he had a check and many promises, and I and really wanted to leave Montreal. Or, and I really wanted to leave Montreal. And Lake Atomipec is the perfect place to get away. When you want to leave, you leave. Alright, well, what is it about, Hamilton? Rich industrialist, much hated and much loved. Anything that isn't his in the Manistan region, he wants. Buying is his only power. Hamilton has complained time and time again of being persecuted. Sometimes he'll say it's the people of Lake Atamapik. Sometimes the Cree people. Some would say he deserves it when you exploit people. The least you can do is stay away from them. <laughs> right? Uh, don't worry, I just bought up all your land and all your property. I'm just gonna stay right down the road from you guys, okay? Cool. Oh, I might as well read up on the case. Son of a wealthy Chicago banker, Hamilton made his own gold rush in the north of Quebec, where he established a copper mine and helped his family's small fortune thrive. You can't make a fortune without breaking a few lives. That's the saying Hamilton lives by. The expansion of his copper mine certainly did not help him make new friends. Hamilton is accusing the Cree people of attacking his estate, especially his luxurious, a luxurious hunting lodge somewhere north of Chabagamau. Yet another way to make friends. The Cree certainly do not hold him dear. His mind's probably upset the great spirit. This vandalism case is definitely for me. It needs the eye of a professional. I'm meeting Hamilton at the general store, 1553 Lorang. Okay. Well, that means we have to head up the road from here. It's pretty much the first major destination along the way. Although, wow, look how big this place is. All right, let's uh, let's get back to my car and see if we can fix it up. Cause I don't think I want to walk all the way to the general store if I can manage. Maybe we could find the other guy's body and take his car. Oh, he needs to heal up his wounds and warm up his body for crying any further. How do I heal my wounds? Wait, can I do something here? Oh! My car can be used to store things. Oh, that's useful. 
and also worrisome. <laughs> oh no, we gotta deal with an inventory system. We're going full survival here. Okay. We're gonna go down the road just a little bit. Unless the narrator tells me that this is a bad idea. I wanna look around and see if I can find... I can't go any further. No! Okay, fine. I wanted to see if I could find the guy who ran away. But it looks like I can't do that. We're just gonna have to go back to the cabin. And get myself healed up. Properly. Well, I do have... I press I. There we go. I can't access my actual inventory and I think I have to use it. Okay. Uh, equipment. Flashlight. Camera. Map. Journal. Nope, that's not what I need. I like the take much of the camera. Carl's long-standing and faithful ally has seen his share of husbands caught red-handed cheating. There's always something out there waiting to be snapped away. <laughs> the question is, should I do it? I saw that it has a limit, so I'm not a fan of that. Regardless, uh, inventory. Fire starter, pincher, empty bottle, matches, Polaroid film. No, nope, none of those are necessary. Consumable. Cigarettes. Cigarettes will help my mind reduce its stress, but also lower my health. Which, you know what? That's that's sensible. Okay. Crap. Wait. There's a dugout spot out of here. Can I take advantage of that? We gotta look around for first aid. Ah! Rations? No, that's not what I need. Oh! There's a fire thing in here, too! Oops. Yeah, it's probably better for me to be here, inside the building, like I, I figured. Oops, I didn't notice this before. Well, now we have two fires! And no idea exactly what I'm trying to accomplish, besides heal myself so I can get to work. Alright. I must have missed something around here. Or maybe I missed something in the other person's car. Let me go around to their trunk. Because maybe they have a first aid kit. Or the item that's in our inventory is in the first aid. Oh, the trunk is partially open. Aha! First aid kit served to heal Carl's wound. I missed that. Oof. That is bad. Alright. First aid kit would fall under consumables? Yes. Use. Okay. I'm healed up. How do you feel now? Ah. I'm good enough to drive, Doc. Okay. Carl's military training had made him a very punctual man. Being late to his meeting with Hamilton was out of the question. <laughs> Even after being in a car crash and bleeding from my arms and things like that. Yep, I still need to make that meeting. This is bad. I can't see shit in this weather. I'm going to try and stay on the right side of the road. And hope nothing bad happens to me. Maniston region. Ah, oh, lovely. Spread out on a few acres of untouched forest, bellowing caribou, everlasting snow, and undefiled lakes. The Manistan region was no tourist hub. It was said to have been populated for millennia by Cree people, and ever since the industrial era, by the metal mining industry. Yeah, it sounds like a lovely place to be. The weather also makes me pretty happy about it. Oh, jeez. At least I can look at the map while driving. As right risky as that is. Good thing that the general store was close by. Wait, do I actually have to maintain my car's gas level? Oh, no. And you know what? The general store is probably not going to be in any kind of good state. Because this is a horror game. 
when are things ever in a good state in a horror game? Okay. Ah. Uh, the pumps wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. Darn. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. All right, well, we'll head inside. The milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. Well, that's good. Can I take some of these? The milkman had to drive oh, okay. by every week to fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. Something fell to the bottom of the box. I don't see anybody inside, and you know what kind of sign that is. Whoa! Nope, I lied. I see someone inside. Oh, shit. Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. But only a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. That the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. That's bad. That's really bad. Okay. Well, we gotta take evidence. Everything we can. Everything in the shot. Key picture. Mr. Hamilton, what happened to you, man? Carl felt a chill down his spine and had a terrifying realization. If Hamilton was dead, then who was going to pay him? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we could loot his body a little bit. Just for the money we agreed what on. What could be inside that envelope? Mr. Carl John was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to be the address of the P.O. box for the Canadian Secret Service. Oh, he got himself mixed up with the Secret Service? What's that about, Hamilton? What's over here? The place is a mess. Yeah, you can say that again. So there's one of the, the neat things that really drew my attention when I first saw it at PAX East. So some of the inspection stuff, rather than being narrated to us, actually just projects itself into the world like this. And I really, I'm a fan of that. That's a neat idea. It's been done a few times in the past, but not, oh shit. An explosion shit. suddenly occurred outside. Not too often. The generator went down. Ugh. Uh, ding. Ding. Fine. We need to go outside. Because, you know, that's the smart idea after all of this. The general store also serves as a post office for the locals. Oh. So a lot of people come over here sometimes. Okay. What happened? Electricity turned off. Yeah, no shit. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Oh, well that's faulty. Maybe you guys should have had that fixed. Electricity from power line. Electricity from generator. Okay. Secretary wouldn't be in luxury here. To open the cash register, punch the price, two numbers minimum, press sale. Turn the crank two times. Punch the machine if it doesn't work. Okay. I'm glad we have some translations here. Well, we'll deal with that later. Maintaining wolves. his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? <laughs> yeah, if it's about wolves, uh, either this place isn't hasn't been populated for a few days, or something. I don't know. Carl was no electrician, oh, shit. but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. <laughs> Yeah, especially if it looks like that. Okay, so we need 
a couple of tools that we don't currently have. Oh, jeez. I'm not ready to deal with wolves. Also, what the hell is that? We'll have to investigate it soon. Oh. Torn paper. Let it be known that Safe you're nothing more than a brigand. Seems like some villagers barely tolerated each other. Let it be known you're nothing but a more than a brigand. A robber. A garbage hoarder. A viper. A leech. A monster. You're holding a knife at my throat. Too bad for me, but... But what? Why'd you toss it away out here? I don't know about you guys, but if I ever wrote, like, a really hateful note, I wouldn't be tossing it out in the public. How many matches do I have? It's risky for me to keep on starting fires at every single place I have, but... I need save slots, or I need saves to make sure nothing bad happens, or if something does happen, we don't get completely screwed over. Okay. Let's get inside of here somehow. Can I break the window? Uh, not this one. Or this one. Crap. Well, fine. I'll submit myself to this. What the hell is this? Carl was used to strange phenomena. But a chunk of ice like this? As if an iceberg came out of the ground? That was a first. Yeah, especially since there are wolf tracks coming straight from it. I don't know what that's about. Whoa, look at that. What is that? There are other tracks only in the picture. Oh, we're so screwed. Vince? Carl found a surprise at every turn. Was the camera faulty, or was it a possible lead? I guess we'll have to see. We'll read the journal. Uh, oh, let me back up. My client is dead. Everything's going wrong. That's my luck. An envelope torn open addressed to the Secret Service. If I remember correctly, the whole thing is more intricate than it seems. Okay. When you find death threats and the person threatened is found dead, one can say that the case solves itself. Only the shame the, the note isn't signed. <laughs> yeah. Alright. A cold mystery. What is this about? Where's all this snow coming from? They say the fall is an unpredictable season, but this is something else. I saw some very weird ice earlier that seemed to be a lit, fr a lit up from within. I'd never seen anything like it. I don't know the chemical process in which the pictures reveal invisible prints. I have to say it looks entirely supernatural. Caribou prints? I guess we'll have to see. I'd have to take a picture of everything. Okay, so four is the camera? Nope, that's my flashlight. Three? Aha. Okay, the tracks seem to lead to another iceberg thing, or not iceberg thing, but block of ice. But why? Eastern Atomapec. This is Carl really suspicious. Carl felt that the store and its surroundings still held their secrets. And he didn't like to miss out. What about this shit? Isn't this super suspicious? Fine. Alright, narrator. You got me. I'll check that out after <laughs> we solve the mystery of the general store. Uh, as a detective, I am responsible for making sure we clean up as much information as possible. Even though I don't exactly have a key. Let's look inside this store. Maybe that'll be able to help us out. Here's a good question. Will being inside the building warm me up? Not really. Fun. Oh, hey! Yeah, we might as well take as much as we can from here. Maybe the keys would be... Behind the counter? Aha! Okay, well these aren't the keys. Well, we found one of the components needed to fix the generator. Up! Oh, and a garage key. Okay. Let's 
keep checking these out. Or not. Oh! We know how to turn on the pump. We have letters to read. Customer credit. Customer According to that credit. log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. Oh. I can look at this whenever I need to find out where these people live. So how much money do all of them owe? This person owes two dollars, eleven, fifteen, six, twenty-two. One. <laughs> is is that real? Is he really keeping track of even like the super small amounts? Well, I guess it can add up if you don't you don't keep track. Carl knew that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. And why is that? You know what, Hamilton? I have a frog in my throat. And when people t hey, a frog, uh, and when people have a frog in their throat, they do not take risks by going to work. Customers could catch it, right? I'm a wise man. Not to worry. I will have a doc a nice doctor's note, which I'm going to g I'm going out to get right now. Sadly, in the meantime, I want to close down the shop. Unless you would like to come fill in for me? I wouldn't dare advise you. After all, you must know how it's done, since it's yours now. With kind regards, your dedicated manager, Gilles. Wow, that snark. I, I bet you know how the store runs, since you own it, huh? Alright. So... I guess when Hamilton came over here... He legitimately was the only person here until the other guy came in and murdered him. A radiator without power is as good as a wood stove without logs. <laughs> yeah, for sure on that. Not in the mood to drink maple syrup. But what if he needs you to survive, man? Mysterious unbranded cans. Wow. Seems like the only way we're going to find out what's in them is by... Just opening up every single one and consuming it. But I think we'll be fine for now. Alright, where's that door? Aha! Well... Let's hope there's something useful in here. I'd imagine a tool to fix up... There we go. The wire outside. And is that it? Well, okay. This is really suspicious to have a car here that I can't see inside at all. But maybe they just didn't want to model the inside. At least we know it's fragile. <laughs> Alright, Carl, let's get back inside. 